What's going on, Wastelanders? Draco Invictus here with our Viewer's Choice Let's Build series kickoff. We are kicking this thing off right at Finch Farm, and let's get to it right now. <laughs> All right, and we are going to press the button and we're going to head on down to the ground. Like I said, we are here at Finch Farm. And this is the first episode of our new build series. Uh, largely in part because of you guys. And today I wanted to focus on what I consider the cornerstone of any good settlement border fence because yes i'm going to put up a fence around this place because we have super mutants over there at the satellite ray we got the forged over there at the ironworks we got the gunners over there except they can't cross the water so i'm not too worried about that but i <clears throat> i wondered for quite a while where the traveling vendors come to or from you know what where they come i don't, I don't imagine they come this way because the satellite array is right there. I imagine they probably come right through that little like gully right in there. I think that's where they're coming from. So that's kind of where we're gonna put our gate. So let me jump into build mode. All right, here we are in build mode and man, it takes forever. Now, originally I kept these cars when I scrapped everything else because I was thinking I was gonna use them, but I see one problem with them. They are all explosives. So, no good for us. I do not want explosive cars next to our only exit and entrance to this place. And I was actually inspired by the original Fallout. Um, you guys may have heard of Junktown. You've certainly seen the magazine Tales of a Junktown Jerky Vendor. You know, if you've been playing the game at all. And the original gate is actually made out of blue boxcars. So I thought, how perfect. I will make this out of blue boxcars. And I think I want to angle it kind of at that dirt mound there. Bring it down there. And that's not going to snap because I turned off my snapping at some point earlier. There we go. Got that turned back on. All right. So that, it looks good here. I like that they don't have to step up or down. But... They're gonna have to step up there. So, how much room do we have? Oh, I installed a mod that doesn't kick me out. I can stay out here all day. I can't do anything out here. I can't scrap any trees or anything like that. It doesn't give me any other advantage other than the fact that I'm not being kicked out of a build mode that takes me 45 seconds to load into. So, <laughs> let's position this. See, I like that low spot there. This may work. All right, so I'm gonna lower this one down first. I'm gonna use my place anywhere. That's perfect right there. Then we'll grab this one. And if they can't step down from that, if they have that problem, then we have other problems. But I will, f you know what, let's just fix it now. I don't wanna deal with that later. Let's turn this down though. Ah. Stop. It went haywire on me. And it's okay that some of that snow's going in there. I'm okay with that. Oh yeah, see? I like that a whole lot better. Because now I know that the nav mesh on the ground will let them transition perfectly right through that. Okay. So, we now have our gate. That's it. We're done. That's it for this video. Until next time. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. But we are going to need a few more things. So, uh, we are going to stay over here and let's grab everything that we're going to need out of this menu. We are going to need a van. A vault tech van. And I think we want this one. Okay, so we're gonna use that. And then we want some cars. So we'll grab a coupe. I like the black coupe, we'll stick with that one. And let's grab a, a yellow coupe with no doors. 
And then let's grab a sedan. Let's go with the... Yeah, let, let's go with the blue one. It looks nice and smashed, huh? And then one more. We will go with a... Um, Yellow, blue, black. We need a white one. There we go. Except maybe. Ooh. With that one. Yeah, let's go with that one. Okay. So, we've got our van, our four cars. Let's start with the van. The van is actually going to go up on top. And you know what? We're just going to place it up there. So, you want to come around here. Oh yeah, it's way too far forward. Get that centered and right at the edge. Yep. And it is sitting on top of it, which is perfect. Now I just need to get up there because we're gonna do some work up there. So let's get out of miscellaneous. Go wood, floors. Let's just grab some small shack floors. Did you know that they snap right there? I didn't know that they snapped right there. And... You know what? Well, here. We're just going to snap a few more here. We're going to end up moving them, but that way we have them. There are four. And then we'll grab some stairs. Okay. So let's grab this one first, and we're just going to place it up there. We want it right at the back of this truck, and it will kind of slide in there. And of course, we'll have to place it from there, but I don't think it's going to get any better than that. Nope, that's perfect. And now the second one should snap to that one. There we go. All right. So we've got our two boards in there. Now I want to come down and we're going to go to defense, guard post, and we're going to grab our first guard post here. See if we can't, I, it should, oh, there it was. Come on. You know you want to. All the cool kids are doing it. Get on there! <laughs> See, it'll snap over there, but... I want it right on the front, and I had it just a second ago. Not where I want it perfectly, but you know what? We'll get up here and see if we can't adjust it a little bit. There it is. Look at that. No. Don't store it for the love of God. That's perfect. Right there. Okay. So now that we've got that, let's grab um, back in our wood category, more stairs, but we want the small stairs. Let's see how those are going to line up. That may work. No, I was just snapped to the bottom of the stairs. Okay, um, no. Let's hop down here. Don't make me turn snapping off. And now you guys know why I turned snapping off. Didn't I just turn it off? Yeah, snapping's off. Grid snapping's off. It shouldn't be snapping. Oh, you know what? Probably because it's a mod that's letting it snap there. You know what? Fine. Just be there. Now I gotta turn snapping back on. Otherwise, the regular floor won't snap. <laughs> see? This is the crap. You guys want to see this stuff? You keep telling me, oh yeah, we want to see that! I don't think you do, but... Yeah, sure. Go over there. Because all I really want you to do is go right here. We'll 
get up here, centered up. That looks marvelous. It's doing the shimmering thing. Oh, you punk ass. Look away, then come back, pick it up, and then put it back down. All right, so I don't want them going off that way. I want them to go off this way. Okay. Now this floor should snap right there. And then a set of stairs there. And they're not long enough. So we'll store those, grab these, put that there, store that. Now we have a guard post on top of our gate. Now to the cars. Now these cars are not dynamic. They are static objects. I cannot rotate them any other way other than this way. That's why if I set it here, it will float just like that. It'll always stay like that. I can get out of build mode. It would stay just like that. So I need to build a rig so that they're angled. That's what we're going to do now. So I am going to use this little floor that we already had, and I want to get it so that it's essentially in line with that wall. I want it perfectly in line. Not because I'm going to attach anything from this floor over there, but I want that same position because what we're about to do is we're going to come over here and grab some plywood. Now I want this vertical board. So we're just going to set that down there. And then I want a 45 degree board. No, that's 30. There's 45. All right. So now I need to make sure that this board is perfectly in line with the floor. That's close enough for government work. Okay. And now I'm going to take this board and this is essentially our, 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 our backstop. This is our catch. Okay. Because what we're going to do, we're going to get out of build mode. I happen to have in my inventory, over here in junk, some clipboards. So I'm going to drop two of them. I don't need two of them. The other one went in the snow, so we will pick it up and set it here. There we go. And we'll just leave that one there. And we are good to go. Now we need to get back into build mode, so I'll see you in a couple seconds. Now, over in the PS4 land, you guys have the Quapa tool, or I guess it used to be Swapa, and now it's Quapa. But anyway, uh, you guys have a tilt function. We don't have a tilt function. This is the best that we got. So I'm going to go ahead and place that, and hopefully it slides down correctly. And it did. Okay, so keep in mind, this is the angle that we're mimicking, right? So anything that we do is going to have this same angle, not this angle. So we're only working on this side right now. But what I need to do is I need to take that clipboard, now that I have it at that angle, and I'm going to go to its properties and I'm going to copy its position. Okay. So now let's see, we have our, let's go with the sedan. We're going to select it. And then we're going to go to its object properties and we're going to paste the position of the clipboard. So there's the car. Now what we've done is we've changed its pivot access. It will only pivot this way. So do we want it up or do we want it down? We probably want it up because it makes sense with the doors. So we will go ahead and slide over here. And I think I'm going to want it a little bit higher and further forward, but we're definitely getting there. I think that's perfect right there. Let's see. No, a little bit higher than that. 
right. No, oh, don't jump up. Ah, you bastard. Fine. Go there. And I will force you up. Now we're going to move you to the right just a hair. There we go. Now it looks like it's actually leaning against the rail car. Well, there you go. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, so now we're going to take the yellow coupe here. And we are going to face it... Let's face it ass end out. Now we can probably do the stare down thing and get this thing somewhat in there. Alright, let's put it there for now. We're only slightly cutting in. We need to rotate it a little bit more. Oops. Let's see how that rotation is. Yep. Okay. So now we're going to pick it up, go back into place anywhere. We are going to slide it to our left. Still kind of cutting through, so let's dial it back a little bit, a little bit more left. I think that's good there. And now we want to move it up. Look at that. That's perfect. It looks like the blue car is leaning on it just a little bit. Yep, that'll work. Okay, so, and then we will talk about, I'm going to fill this gap, and we'll get to that in a second. But first, we want to place these other two cars. So, because I, this is always the rotate, or the, the axis now, I can't use the same cut and paste for the clipboard that I used for that blue car because it won't allow me to flip it. So we're gonna move this whole thing. We're gonna spin this around. And we want to make sure that we're still lined up with the floor. So let's see what that looks like. Not quite. And it was very fortuitous that they, uh, that they stayed connected like that. It's pretty nice. There. Perfect. Okay. So now that we got that, we're going to pick up our clipboard again. Get it in here as far as it can. And nope. Angle's not quite right. So. Try it again. That's good right there. We're going to call that good. Pick it up. Copy and paste. Now, let's go with... I guess we could go with the coupe. Yeah, let's go with the coupe. And we'll, we'll shove the sedan underneath it. Alright, and this time we're going to paste the position. Get out of there. Perfect. about right. Yep, because once we raise it up... There. Excellent! Now let's grab this car. We want these taillights sticking out too. It may be. We may have to go the other way. Because maybe this maybe this coop is too small. Let's place that there. Oh yeah, we're way off. There we go. 
go. Alright, so let's raise it up a little bit. I'm okay with that. Maybe down just a hair, so it doesn't look like it's cutting that whole tail fin off. I like it. No, that looks awesome. Man, I hope you guys are stoked about this. You wanted Scrappy. I can't get much scrappier than this. <laughs> so, okay. So now uh, let's wrap this thing up. We want to go over to fences. And then we want tires. Let's get some big tires like this. All right, let's put that in position. See if we can't get those tires down there. Almost, but I don't want it sticking through. I like it. That looks great. We'll fill this little gap with, I don't know, cinder blocks or something. All right, so let's grab some different tires those work in there? That would be cool if they did. But that angle's not right. Maybe this angle? I guess it doesn't matter, huh? No, that's not gonna work. So, let's grab this set of tires. Oh, way sticking through there. I'm actually okay with that, but we'll fix it. There we go. All right. Now let's grab some, uh, maybe this one? No, this one here. You can tell I'm craving carbs. These all look like little donuts to me. <laughs> I'm so bad. Like, mm, donut. <laughs> I guess we'll do that same thing on this other side, if it'll let us. Maybe we'll have to go with this one here. Oh, that one's a little long. Let's go with this. Alright. I don't like how that one's kind of hovering, so let's see if we can't get that pushed back a little bit. There we go. Yep. There you go. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We have built the gatehouse for our Finch farm, and it is uber scrappy. This thing is awesome. I love it. I'm not sure whether I'm going to put the gate on this end, like an actual open-close kind of a gate, or maybe put it on this end. We'll figure that out. But that is going to wrap it up for this episode. We are, what, 25 minutes in? So, yeah, pretty close to 25 minutes. So, um, yeah, this is my little jig here. Not a dance. It's a tool. And uh, that is how you get angled stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Make sure to stay tuned for more great build videos here at Finch Farm. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Click the little bell notification icon so you get notifications the next time I do post a video. And until next time, Wastelanders, you take care of yourselves out there. This is Draco Invictus saying this has been the greatest day in my life. See ya!